Welcome back to the Whiskey Dude channel. Whiskey lovers. Whiskey fiends. Whiskey addicts. I'm your host, Whiskey Matt. And I'm going to be uh, reviewing another whiskey in my collection. And uh, in this review, I'm going to discuss the nose, the taste, and um, how much it sells for. And if I think you should buy it. And if I think of anything else that's important. But um, if you guys want to stick around and watch this video, like and subscribe to me. And um, let's jump into the review. Boom. Okay guys, welcome back. So the whiskey that I'm going to be reviewing tonight is... Bullet. Bullet Rye. Bring it in closer so you can see it. And Bullet Rye is a small batch bourbon, sorry, a small batch rye that's made by the Four Rose Distillery. And it's saying here on the bottle that it's the 95 uh, straight rye uh, mash. It's a uh, 90 proof and uh, that's all it's saying. If you guys want to know more about the actual history of uh, Bullet, you could jump on their website, read all about them. So I poured some of this out a little bit ago. It's been sitting in this cup over here. And uh, let me show you the color of it so you can kind of get an idea of how this stuff looks. It's got a kind of deep copper penny looking color to it. It looks good. Um, let me jump into the actual nose of it now, and let me tell you what I think it smells like. Whew. It's got an interesting smell. Kind of got... Up front, it's kind of got a cream smell, creaminess. Like a custard cream. And then I get... Spiciness, because it's a straight rye. So I'm getting those baking spices. I get raisins. It smells, it smells dynamite. I wish it tasted this good, you know? This stuff reminds me of like a coffee that smells amazing, but then when you taste it, it's like not nearly as good. It's got some, it's got some very fragrant, beautiful aromas. It smells good. It smells really good. Let's jump now into the actual tasting and uh, let's see how that goes. Cheers, everyone. Well, my first impression of it is that it's, um, it's spicy. Right away, I'm getting the spices. You get a slight sweetness on the tongue, the front of the tongue, but then it transitions into like very um, peppery or very clove or cinnamon-like type of um, spices. It's kind of got a warm, medium to long finish. And now I'm starting to get kind of like that creamy custard like aftertaste it's really really good really good let's go back for another sip cheers Oof. if I'm not mistaken I believe Kieran and Four Roses are uh, partnered so, I mean, Kirin is a huge Japanese um, brewing company. And then Four Roses is huge as well. So, it's kind of cool that they have acquired this Bullet Bourbon brand or Bullet Rye. The Bullet, they have Bullet Rye and Bullet Bourbon. They also have a 10 year bourbon, I think. Their products are pretty good, but I would say that these style um, bourbons and ryes are more for. Um, People that are just getting into drinking uh, bourbon or rye. Um, 
in my opinion, I think that they're a little more sweet, a little more um, just easy to drink. Sorry guys, I don't know what I was saying because the camera cut out and I'm just having te technical difficulties, but I think I was just talking about this, uh, this rice typically used for um, cocktails and um, it's a perfect entry to rye or bourbon, depending on which one you're trying to drink or whatever you're you know, wanting to taste. And this rye makes a perfect old fashioned. And if you're not familiar with what's in an old fashioned, it's just simple, sir simple syrup or a sugar cube, orange bitters, ice cubes, and um, this rye mixed around with a little zesty twist on top. Uh, it's very, very basic uh, drink, but it's terrific with this bullet rye. It really is. It's something that, you know, if they're gonna make an old-fashioned, this is the rye you use. Don't use anything else. But, um, yeah. Uh, now I'm gonna add some water to the whiskey and uh, see if that changes it, opens up the flavor, see if we can detect some new molecules. Never know unless you try. So uh, uh, stick around and uh, I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. This, uh, this water's been resting in the cup now for about five minutes and uh, let's go in for the nosing, see if that changed anything. I'm definitely getting a lot more sweetness um, with the with the water added to it. I'm getting a lot more vanilla. Um, the vanilla was not as uh, detectable as before, but it is now. It's just a lot sweeter on the nose. I'm not really getting anything else other than sweetness. It's like a sugar, kind of like a, a creme brulee sugar on top, you know? And uh, vanilla. That's exactly what it reminds me of, cream brulee, like the, the, the sugar that they burn on top. Oh, that's the best. It's making me just crave that right now. Let's go for a taste. Cheers. Mmm. Typically, when you add water to bourbon or, or rye, it makes it spicier. But because this rye is 95% rye, it's already really spicy. So by adding water to it, it actually kind of, it kind of like diluted it and changed it. Now it's even easier to drink. Kind of more reminds me of that old fashioned, but actually I don't prefer it to with the, with the drop of water. I think it's a little better without it. But hey, it's your personal preference. It's just however you like to drink it. So, you know, you don't have to follow what I say, do whatever you like. So um, in my book, this product is, um, is, is good, it's really good. Um, I'd recommend you buying it. Um, you, wouldn't be, you won't be disappointed. It's, it, like I said, it's a, it's a beginner type of rye. It's $30 at pretty much any grocery store. And um, it stands, it, it holds its own right there with Jack Daniels rye, um, Knob Creek rye, um, there's some of the other rise. There's a couple other ones, but um, you know, you know, this one holds its own. So, my final, um, you know, summary of this product is: it tastes really good. It smells good. It makes wonderful cocktails. It's, it's just <coughs> done right, and um, you can't go wrong with Bullet Rye. So that's my review. Um, I hope it was, you know, I hope I gave you good information. If you've had this in an old fashioned, let me know what you think of it or what, what rye you recommend. Um, leave me some comments, like and subscribe to me. Um, and yeah, just uh, catch me on the next review. Anyhow, cheers. Have a great weekend, guys. Peace out. Bam. Have a good night.